guys. So I wanted to share another um, exercise that I've worked out from uh, Seven <laughs> Inspired, but um, also it also was uh, then prompted by a friend of mine. Keep our lungs nice and resilient, and um, given that we are in an airborne crisis um, with germs and toxicity of the virus. So, trying to keep our lungs really expansive at full capacity is really important for maintaining future health um, and resilience. But also, the lovely thing with breath is that it can also just make you feel better. And this breathing exercise that we're going to do is about also creating a sense of space as we hold the breath. So allowing a retention of the breath to help create more space. And hopefully as you create more space in your lungs, it will start to feel like that in your body and in your mind. So we're gonna be taking a breath and holding it in, and then we'll let it go. And we're going to try and do that five times. Sorry, my phone is going around messages. Um, we're going to be going to do that five times. I'm going to try and hold the breath for up to 10 seconds. Now, if you don't already do breath work, this may be quite challenging. So you might want to build up to it. Um, building up that retention maybe for five counts. And then every time you do it, seeing if you can get a little longer. Or maybe doing it each day and try and do the exercise morning and night. So the first time we're going to have a go <laughs> is just take a moment and let's just check in with the breath. So just take a moment to see where you're breathing into. And if you can, try and direct that breath a little bit lower down towards the abdomen to allow the lower lobes of the lung to start to fill with breath. And as you do that, also notice movement of the floating, the low chest and the upper abs, just feeling it into the sides and the back. And then softening and letting everything soften down. Just settling into that breath, letting it start to be a little bit fuller and a little bit deeper. Okay, after the next exhale, we're going to be looking to take it for that inhale and then hold the breath for the up to 10 counts. Inhale, nice and wide and full. Expand those lungs, side and back and front. And then hold the breath. And then release the breath. Allow the exhale to be completely full. And then inhaling again. And hold. And release the breath. Make sure it's nice and full and then you can release the shoulders and the neck. Third time round, inhaling. Try and think about expanding the belly, the low ribs, the upper ribs. And then hold. And releasing the breath. And we'll relax, that'd be easy. And then we're going for the fourth round. Fill the belly, fill the ribs, fill the chest. Think about it in all directions, and then we're going to hold. And releasing the breath. 
going to do it for one more count. And 10, really trying to make sure you've got that full resilience in your lungs, taking that final inhale. Expand everything wide in all directions. You're three-dimensional. Use your big space of your chest, your belly, and your lungs. And then hold. And then release that breath. Just take a moment. Let your breath return to its normal rhythm. Can you notice if there's any sense of space in your body? And is there any space that's been created? And hopefully as you feel a bit more spacious and a bit more lifted and light, you can now go back to whatever it is in your day, feeling a bit more resilient and buoyant to help others through this situation. Take care. Let me know how you find the exercise. Thanks, guys.